I've been raising a bit of money for the Royal British Legion. Well, you've been raising the money, really. I've just been shouting about it. And we've absolutely smashed our target. So currently, thanks to you wonderful people, we've raised more than 161 600 and £55, £161,665, I should say, for the charity. So thank you very much, everybody. But remember, it is vital that we, of course, remember the ultimate sacrifice our brave military heroes have made for our great nation and to support the veterans who need our help. You can go to justgiving.com forward slash page forward slash GB News Poppy. That's justgiving.com forward slash page forward slash GB News Poppy. Poppy, it's an astonishing amount of money. I really appreciate everybody who's given from you know, five pounds to five hundred pounds in some cases as well. It really does mean a heck of a lot, especially in the middle of a cost of living crisis. But I think we wanted to kind of know, didn't we, about some of the areas where this money may well be spent. And joining me now, I'm very pleased to say, is director at the Poppy Appeal, it's Andy Taylor White. Andy, thank you very much for joining us. It's great to have you on the show, and thank you very much for all of the work that you guys do throughout the year, not just at this time of year, mm -hmm. to support our great veterans and their families and, and all of that. So where do you think this money might be spent? Some areas where this money might be spent. Right, so mate, firstly, Patrick, can I just thank you and all the GB uh, News listeners and, and viewers as well for this. It's astonishing, I think, in two days, yeah. what you've raised over 161,000. It's incredible. So um, the need is still very much there right now for veterans, uh, both uh, past and present. And to give you an idea, uh, last year we launched emergency uh, cost of living grants. The supply uh, and the request for those grants has been exceptional. So we've had to use a lot more, a lot more funds than we expected to support that. And you think that's absolutely what we should be doing, because that's what the Royal British Legion is there for. And especially the poppy appeal this time of year. It's what I love is that the poppy shows people that you care. You care about that veteran community and what we support. So cost of living grants is one thing we do. But of course, people will know the Royal British Legion for over 100 years. We've been helping people uh, who've come back from conflict, who have both physical and mental help and support and needs. And that's very much still a case uh, today. I'm, I'm a veteran myself. I know how important the Royal British Legion work is uh, to the armed forces community today. Yeah, absolutely. And so some of the aspects that you guys cover as well, you know, we've got housing, we've got mental health care, the support for, for the families as well, I, I believe, of the, uh, the dead and, and wounded. And what, what are some of the things that you guys do when it comes to you know, housing and, and all that side of things? So we have a, a full care service team that really looks after people who are in trouble either with homelessness or support, so we're immediately there for that. Right. But also it's kind of things to help people back from, um, we have a, pl a place called the Battleback Centre, which really helps people kind of get literally back on their feet when they've been through either a traumatic uh, case of, uh, from conflict or they're going through just a genuine hard time. And we're there for families as well, but we, 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 kind of, we do a whole raft of things from care homes. We actually have Armed Forces care homes as well. We have a number of those. And we did something amazing this year as well, that the Royal British Legion, uh, we supported Team UK at the Invictus Games. Brilliant. So we took 59 uh, veterans over there with their families and you just you hear the stories from those individuals and it kind of really warms your heart and it, and it brings us back to why I think the poppy appeal is so relevant and why we're just so grateful for the amazing support from GB News and what you've, what you've done in just two days. Absolutely. Look, it's very worthwhile noting as well that the, the, the poppy appeal, you can go directly to that and donate as well. It's not just the Just Giving page that we've got here. You can go uh, all year round, I'm assuming. Right. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. The, we, what we need support all year round. But yeah. I think this, you know, the Poppy Peel is such an iconic time of year, isn't it? Remembrance is such an iconic time of year. And this year, actually, we've launched a brand new uh, plastic free poppy. Yes. And, which I was um, going to say, which... I feel like I'm letting the side down a bit here because I've just grabbed one from our uh, poppy box over there and we've not got the plastic free one. Well, so. pa Patrick, what I'd like to do is I'd like to give you something that we've just given to all our poppy peel organisers. These are incredible volunteers that with their set of volunteers, they go around and they, uh, they raise money for us. Uh, so I'd like to give you one of the very first new uh, plastic free uh, poppies uh, that came off our production line and they're serialised serialized number with it as well. Oh, wow. So there you go, that's oh. the brand new. Thank uh, you find very it for much. you as well. So it's just just to, as a um, just a little thank you for well, the amazing effort you've done in well, two look, days. Th thank you very very much. I mean, this is lovely, isn't it? We should show show that. I really do appreciate this. I will I will absolutely cherish this. I just do want to emphasise again that well, it is genuinely a gift to be able to have a platform like we've got here at GB News and with the viewers and everything. And it's nice to be able to use that platform for good causes actually. And I can't think of a better one really than supporting our veterans. And I think the the testament, Andy, really should go to. I mean, this is obviously for, for, for all those people who've given, like, five pounds when, you know, they're sending me the odd email saying, look, I don't have a huge amount of money at the mm -hmm. moment, and here's, here's five quid. Right the way through to people who, who can give 500 pounds or, or whatever people uh, can give. Uh, and I think 
Andy, it just does show, doesn't it, that, that when called upon, the British public you know, are very generous and can mobilise behind a cause that they they feel so dearly about, like, mm. like the poppy, like our veterans. And I think we're, we're all very proud of the poppy appeal and what it represents, what yeah. the poppy appeal represents from remembrance, uh, but also kind of hope for peace as well. So it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's such a special... I think it, always, it holds such a special place in society. We're so grateful, and especially at a time like now when cost of living is really challenged for a lot of people, yeah. that the donations they can give mm. and, and that they can wear a poppy really kind of helps uh, show that they care. So, uh, arguably the big day, I know, again, I want to emphasise you do a huge amount of work all year round, but uh, the big day's coming up, be not this Sunday, next Sunday, mm. isn't it? Um, what kind of things can we expect there? Well, as you imagine, all this week, tomorrow we have the London Poppy Day, so that's one of our biggest fundraising days, so we'll have lots of volunteers and armed forces personnel in London, in uniform, so people can come up, the public can come up and thank them for their service as well, which is amazing. Um, and then all the way through to the Senate staff, and obviously that's, uh, for us, is a very special weekend, so we have the Festival of Remembrance at the Royal Albert Hall, televised, and then, of course, we'll have the service itself on the day. And we're delighted that a, a whole series of veterans will march past yeah. the Cenotaph. Uh, and there's always more coming, which is lovely. It kind of gives you that sense of what, what the poppy and what remembrance is all about. Absolutely. Well, look, thank you very much for everything that you no, guys do you all year much. round and helping so many people. And it's an absolute pleasure to be able to raise anything at all for the Royal British Legion, for the Poppy Appeal. That is justgiving.com forward slash page forward slash GB News Poppy. We're going to run this to the end of the week. I think, OK, so we're on about £161,000 now. Goodness only knows how high that could go. So thank you a million times over, everybody. And thanks again, Andy. That's Andy Taylor-White there, who is the director at the Poppy Appeal.